Hello, and welcome to the channel, The Secret of Samadhi. In life, we experience things that we can't immediately explain. Instead, they create more questions and doubts within us. Sometimes these unanswered questions are much too complicated to have a straightforward response. Out of all the questions we get asked, one stands out. When does a human life end? Some Buddhist monks in Tibet have taken their last breath and risen into the sky, transforming into a rainbow. This may sound like an unlikely event, but it has actually happened several times. This event draws a large crowd of Buddhists looking for the meaning of life. Even Hitler tried to send two expeditions to Tibet during World War II, according to historical records. He was looking for any evidence of the event and sent his men there to investigate. The phenomenon we're discussing is the ability of a Buddhist monk who has attained nirvana, or pure happiness and total absence of sensation including pain, to transform his body into a rainbow of light in an instant. This is a genuine occurrence that many people claim to have seen in 1949. However, the Chinese Communist Party attempted to promote atheism in mainland China after taking control there, but it was unable to do so. Tibetans are Buddhist and adhere to the Buddha's teachings as given in cultural enlightenment and accounts of wonders, such as this one about the rainbow. The transformation of several Tibetan monks shocked even Communist Party members, who skeptically wanted to see one of these rituals performed. In 1952, a senior military officer and political leader of the Chinese Communist Party, who was stationed in Tibet, saw this miracle happen with his own eyes. Zhang Guawa received a message from an elderly monk who informed him that he would be departing the next day for Tibet. Zhang went to pay a visit to him the next day and discovered the ancient monk sitting in the hall's middle. Sang and his men had been waiting for the monk's arrival since morning, along with other devotees and worshippers. Something astounding occurred. The old monk was observed floating up in the chamber and falling back to the floor in a meditation posture. The old monk vanished three times, after which there was a loud noise and an enormous crimson cloud would appear, consuming the previous monk. After seeing it with their own eyes, the commander and the Communist Party accepted Buddhism as a prayer practice. Later in 1975, two men from the Indian Border Patrol were dispatched to restore the damaged road and clear debris along the India-Tibetan border after an earthquake. They discovered a dead body while doing so. They found the remains of a man who was not an earthquake victim. The remains were those of a seated man, with his head resting on his knee and a cloth wrapped around his body. But that was not all they discovered. In 2003, a team of American researchers reached a mountain that borders Tibet at 3,280 meters. After examining the bones and verifying their age, they concluded that they had been there for more than 500 years. The expedition was recorded from start to end and turned into a documentary. A fresh rainbow transformation occurred on the afternoon of August 28, 1998, between the monks' 1975 metamorphosis and the discovery of his corpse in Tibet. Next to Kham Monastery in Sichuan, 
a guru died after teaching his followers for years in a modest house. They discovered him rejuvenated, his wrinkles gone, and his skin as clear as a child's when they visited the wake. According to custom, people left a dead body's person unburied for seven days. When the master died, he was not particularly tall, but after two days when one of his followers walked into the chamber, he saw that his body had shrunk once again. The master's bed was found empty on the morning of the eighth day. When family members and pupils went to get his body to bury him, those who resided close to the monastery said they observed a luminous rainbow that seemed to emanate from the roof of the master's hut and then vanish into thin air. Hindus believe that there are three different levels of transformation, which depend on how spiritual the person is. The body rises to the highest level, where it shrinks gradually and brightly changes color. At the middle level, the body turns into a colored cloud with a roar following. The third level is when the body gradually sinks until it's about the size of a foot, hardens, and makes noise if you touch it. All theories of spiritual practices in China believe that one can reach a higher level of life through prayer and meditation. According to ancient Chinese writings, it is possible for a person to ascend to heaven and begin a new life as a rainbow in broad daylight. Emperor Huang Di is one of the earliest recorded practitioners of spiritual reality, and it is said to have become immortal. He is renowned for uniting different ethnic groups on earth and creating the Chinese language. He was able to reach heaven through spiritual training, the phenomenon of transforming into a rainbow, which verified that with belief one may attain any level of well-being and enlightenment, provided believers with greater optimism. So many individuals in the community went out to achieve the pinnacle of transformation. In 1938, Hitler dispatched Heinrich Himmler, a general in the Third Reich, Ernest Schaefer, as well as botanists, doctors, anthropologists, and other cutting-edge experts to Tibet in an attempt to disprove the existence of reincarnation. The Nazi expedition was enthusiastically embraced by the Tibetan government, which provided them with tremendous hospitality. After they arrived, the explorers set about photographing, measuring, and recording Tibetan skulls to see where their previous findings might be linked. Deep within the mountain, in a grotto called Shampala, there was an axis of the world that could control the Earth's rotation and allow you to travel back in time. Only those who discovered the axis had power over all. In 1943, after the Nazi defeat at Stalingrad and the fall of the Sixth Army, Himmler began to think about this cave again. Himmler met with Hitler and proposed sending a special operations team to Depet to find the Earth axis, hoping that this would turn the tides of war in their favor. They had the option to send troops, which would have created an army of soldiers. This would have allowed Germany to go back in time to correct their mistakes and start the war over again. Following his approval, Himmler appointed his confidant, Peter Aufschneider, to lead a five-man team into Tibet in search of Shambhala. The team of five soldiers were expected to arrive in Tibet, but they never arrived, and their whereabouts are unknown. 
However, after the Allies landed on D-Day, Germany was forced to submit. To this day, we do not know what other secrets Tibet holds. The turning of the monks into rainbows is only one aspect of what Tibetan Buddhism has to show the rest of the world. We've arrived at the conclusion of this enjoyable, emotionally charged adventure. And would you take a trip to Tibet to witness these transformations? Would you go to the Shampala cave and journey back in time? If yes, please let us know in the comments below which historical period of your life you would choose to travel back to. Keep an eye on the channel to see if there are any more amazing stories like this. In the next video, see you again. The Lord Buddha blesses you.